Okay, we're going to see all the lines parallel, perpendicular, one meter. This is the first question. Here we go. First, we have y is equal to 2x minus 4 over 5. And the second line is y is equal to negative 3x plus 5 over 4. Notice that both lines, they are in the slope intercept form already. y is equal to mx plus b, right? So in fact, we can see that this right here is the slope of the first line, and the m right here is equal to 2. Likewise, for the second one here, this is the slope. We have negative 3. So again, we are just compare the slope. If the slopes are the same, then the lines will be parallel. If the slopes are opposite side and reciprocal, then they will be perpendicular. But in this case, this is 2, this is negative 3. No connection, right? Therefore, these two lines, they are neither parallel nor perpendicular. Right, so pay attention to the slope only. In fact, if you look at negative 4 over 5, and this is positive 4 over 5. No, doesn't matter. We just care about the slope, right? Now, have a look with the second one. In fact, here, you see, we have y minus 12 is equal to 8 times x plus 1. We also know the slope right away, because this right here is the point slope form of the line. So, if you would like, you can just say that this right here, the slope is equal to 8. And likewise, if you look at this, it's also in the slope, it's also in the point slope form. So you can see that this right here is the slope. And here we have m equals negative 1 over 8. Again, you don't have to work it out because if you do, 8 times x is 8x, and you see the slope is 8. This times this is negative 1 over 8, right? x. And then still, the slope is negative 1 over 8. Anyway, in this case though, this right here is 8. This is negative 1 over 8. This is the opposite sign and the reciprocal. So these two lines, they are perpendicular, right? Because again, opposite sign and reciprocal. So this right here is it. Okay, we're going to see if the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. This is the first one. Here we go. We have the equations. Y is equal to 4, and the other one is x is equal to negative 3. These are the special cases, because when we have y is equal to 4, how does the line look like? Yes, it's horizontal, and we have just y is equal to 4, like this. Technically, the slope right here is 0, and you can just say y is equal to 4, like that. And on the other hand, when we have x is equal to negative 3, this is vertical. Remember, whenever we have x is equal to a number, that's a vertical line. And the way that I like to remember this is that, you see this is the y-axis, yeah? And when you have the y-axis, you can just see 1, 2, 3, 4. Then you have four little lines. So this right here is on the y-axis, and you just go to 4, and then you have the horizontal line. That's all. Similarly, when x is equal to negative 3, on the x-axis, go to 1, 2, 3, to the left. So this right here is the negative 3, and you see the little line right here. That will tell you you just go straight up and down. So you have a line like this. This is when we have x is equal to negative 3. As you can see, one line is horizontal, the other one is vertical. So what can we say? Yes, they are perpendicular. So let's go ahead and just write that down, and then we are done for this. Special cases, and as a reminder, the slope of y is equal to 4 when we have horizontal line. This right here, the m is equal to 0. It's horizontal. And when we have x is equal to a number, we get the vertical line. And the slope right here is, if you work out the formula, you end up with negative 1 over 0. But you can also remember that the slope of vertical line is undefined. So you have to make sure you know the uh, special slopes like this. Now, here we have another one, and you see, can we see the slope of this line right now? No, we have to do some work on that, right? We have to write this into the y is equal to mx plus b form. So we will, let's go ahead and minus the 15x on both sides. And then let me just cancel this out, and then we have the negative 3y. And we'll write this down first, because we like to have the y equals mx plus b form. So put down negative 15x and then minus 1. And then, you see, this is negative 3 times y. Therefore, we have to divide everybody by negative 3. Divide everybody by negative 3, like this. 
Finally, you see this and that cancel, and we just get y equals negative 15 divided by negative 3, that's positive 5, and we have the x term. And then, positive 1 divided by, I mean, negative 1 divided by negative 3, we get positive 1 over 3. What's the slope? The slope is this, y equals mx plus b. So, the slope of this line is 5. Alright, so that's good. And if you look at the other one, do we know the slope? In fact, yes, because this right here is another version of the point slope form, right? Point and a slope, right? So the slope right here is actually 5, right? So if you would like, you can just say the slope right here is 5. And if you really don't believe me right here, you can again work this out. I will work it out for you guys real quick. y equals 3 is 3. Be sure you distribute first, and then you get 5 times x, so you get plus 5x. This times this is negative 60. And then you see the 3 and the negative 60 can be combined it. And we will say y equals, write this down first, 5x, 3 minus 60 is negative 57. I told you already, y is equal to mx plus b form, m is equal to 5. Look, the slopes are the same. So what do they? What are they? Well, they are the parallel situations. So I will just tell you guys, this right here is the parallel situation. That's it.